Right guys, I don't know if anybody is still on this channel. Um, I, um, I don't know if I'm still on the same same stream or not. If anybody can just give me a heads up and say whether I'm on 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 this stream or not. Ah, there we go. We've got one guy watching. Don't know what happened there. Um. I didn't get that last message yes. just there. Right, let me just go out of this one. All right. I don't know what just happened with my previous stream. Um I'm going to try and connect through this one. If I'm on, just give me a heads up. Right, I think I'm on the right one. For the guys that got disconnected from my first one. Um, thanks JT. Um, I was playing an online game before that. Got cut out. I think it was something to do with my Wi-Fi connection. Um, we can try just yet again. Um, Scott, if you, if you want to invite me again, I'd appreciate that. So somebody just asked me before and what I think the future will hold for this game. Um, like I said, um, there will still be more patches to come. I mean, uh, I'm messaging the uh, Big Ben and EKO software uh, on a daily basis, basically. And uh, what did this patch do again? This patch, basically, what this patch just did, it removed the the colors that. That you saw in the previous one where the the crowd colors turned green and pink and so on and then they took away the fact that you could steal the ruck so easily um, and they Are also uh, removed the penalty or they didn't remove the penalty zero count zero but they reduced the penalty count the AI was giving away like 10 penalties per match at some in some games and then also they they tweak the AI's um, gameplay a little bit so that they can make uh, decisions more based on the game itself. But that is one area where I I think they flopped because for me the AI is still pretty poor. <laughs> it's up to you, Scott. If you want to play another game, it's cool. If you don't, then then it's also fine. Um, just let me know. Um, yeah, so this patch basically it improved some areas where the game was almost unplayable because it was too easy to steal the rucks. Um, I mean, the the AI hardly ever had the ball, so you were only playing by yourself the whole time. Whereas now. If the AI do have the ball, it's a lot more difficult to steal their rucks and they get to do a couple of phases, but for me they're still pretty poor um, when it comes to attack and I mean the defense are not that great from them either. Um, another thing that's improved in this patch is the, the player movement. I think the, the speed of the game has gone up just a little bit. You're now able to make inside passes when your wing is into space you can do inside passes without the player standing back too far um, your wings are also um, coming closer into play so you won't have to pass way behind you yeah so just this couple of um, improvements have already made rugby rugby 20 a lot better um, like I say, um, they're still going to, to do updates, more patches, like the one at the moment your your, your team name is um, 
my team one so you will be able to edit that so say for instance you've got all the players for England and you would like to to change that you can change your team's name to England and add all the England players I did do a movie on, or, a, or a video clip on that before but I don't have all the English players just yet in my squad um, I've got a lot of them I replay you so I can actually give you a competitive match at ha ha <laughs> alright no that's cool Scott they say practice makes perfect um, I mean I also struggled when I started playing so that's all cool I understand that 100% um, my stamina is quite good so I can actually do a game quickly um, geez that must be uh, Billy. No, she's like yeah, so that's 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 one of the patches that still needs to be do, needs to be done. Um, they are actually busy with with a test arena where you can you can play a beta and actually tell them what you want to improve. But that's not on on PlayStation 4 or Xbox. It's only on P PC through Steam. I actually asked them the other day why it's only available on PC. And the answer to me was that um, they need permission from Sony and, and Microsoft to do it on PlayStation and Xbox and that takes time. So they will not be pursuing it on PS4 or Xbox. They will just be doing it through PC. And I basically told them that it's really disappointing because I've been following the betas from the first time it came to PS4 and yeah but on the other hand I do understand I started playing so my team is really bad <laughs> yeah you know the, the thing with when you just start playing you need to to really boost your team to be on the same level as as the guy that you are playing against because if I have to, to play with my best team against your best team at the moment, regardless of how how good you might be, um, I still ha will have the advantage over you. Um, I did notice it with, with one of my friends that I played online with. He didn't have a strong uh, my squad. I think his rating was like 50, 50 something and mine was 70 something. And he's a good player, and I quite <laughs> destroyed him in that one game. So you can still steal the ball. Oh, damn it. Um, but then you need to isolate the, the AI decently, otherwise um, you will give away a penalty instead of... As you can see, the flow of the game is quite nice. Um, I'm really enjoying the flow of the game. It's so much better as to to when the beta started. It was it was an absolute disaster. The game were way too slow. Um, it felt like you were running in slow motion every time you you got the ball. Passing is quite fluent. Um, you can really move the ball very well and I mean the set plays are also quite easy okay this one is a bit difficult to execute online has great potential however but yeah it has great potential um, like I said, I've been bad luck. I've been playing against uh, guys where the connection is not that great. Um, my last game that I just played against Scott, where the connection was quite nice. Um, I really enjoyed that game until my connection got cut. But yeah, um, online got so much potential. I mean, we saw it with Rugby Challenge 3. I don't know who of you guys might have rugby challenge but 
online play basically made Rugby Challenge 3 the game that it is. Because before Rugby 20 came out I was playing Rugby Challenge 3 the whole time. So just because of its online features. Alright so I think this only happened to me once before is where the computer or the, or the AI actually took the lead before me which is which is awesome I really enjoy a tight a tight game um, this is against uh, Toulouse I think if I'm correct I didn't check beforehand do you but, think um, rugby challenge 4 will be better or worse than rugby 2-0 sure Marco I can't see rugby 20 be being better than rugby challenge 4 um, there's just look I might be a little bit biased uh, when it comes to to rugby challenge because for me as a series it's been the best for me um, what I do think is rugby 20 is a huge improvement from rugby 18 um, you've got set plays and you've got tactical plays you basically got everything in rugby in rugby 20 so I would say if rugby challenge 4 don't don't equal at least everything that rugby 20 has regarding gameplay um, I mean if rugby challenge 4 has got set plays which I which I think they did advertise on their website and I mean they probably have tactical uh, gameplay as well I mean then just just for that if they've got those two things then rugby challenge 4 should already be a lot better because if we if we see the graphics alone that's came out in the past couple of weeks it looks freaking amazing uh, compared to rugby 20 anyway um, I can't wait for, for rugby challenge 4 I'm just not sure when the release is um, they said something about the 31st of March so I'm um, I'm looking basically at at that time of release but I mean rugby 20 for me is a decent game to play while we wait for rugby challenge 4 um, I don't think Rugby Challenge 4 will have this ultimate team uh, concept or this booster pack system. They might have it, I don't know. Um, that's the bad thing about Rugby Challenge 4, we know absolutely nothing about it. So, I mean, I would still play Rugby 20 if they do not have that booster pack or the ultimate team format. Because I really enjoy the the ultimate the ultimate team format that they got here in Rugby 20. I mean, I can't wait to to see who I get next when I buy my variety pack. Right. Let's see if I can actually score a try. Ah, pass too quickly there. He passes it by. He passes after the tackle to pass. Right, so it is my first try. Yeah, rugby 18 was was horrific. Um, I think the only game that was worse than rugby 18 was rugby 15, uh, and that came out on on was our first rugby game on PlayStation 4 was rugby 15 and that was horrible um, because of rugby 15 I didn't buy rugby 18 I only bought it a couple of weeks before rugby 20 got released just to see what it was all about because it was on the special in the PlayStation store But I do, I feel very sorry for the guys that actually paid the full price for Rugby 18 that time. I mean, a lot of my South African friends that 
that I've got on rugby challenge 4, refused to buy rugby 20. I say it looks crap, but the more I try to convince them, it doesn't help. The, their mind is set for rugby challenge 4. Didn't really get into that tackle. And they've kept possession at the back of this ruck. Bye. Keeps the ball moving. Parks steams along the outside. And I mean, the more I play rugby 20, the more I enjoy it. It's just, like I say, it's too easy at times. This game is quite competitive, I must say. Um, I think they're one of the best teams in this game, so it should be like that. Um, and I also love the fact that you can do substitutions uh, while you're busy playing. It's almost like a FIFA type of uh, move they did pull off there. Which is great. I wish that Rugby Challenge 4 will also have that. Second attempt by the kicker, Sexton. And then the goal kicking. A lot of people complain Sexton. about the goal kicking system for Rugby Challenge, ach, for Rugby 20. But I really appreciated that it's not that easy. Um, the fact that you have to use the right analog stick uh, makes it a little bit more difficult in a sense that you need to control it and sometimes you can uh, overdo it, overcook it like in real life. Um, I love the set play system especially when you play online because uh, it keeps your your position guessing. Oh yeah, I've got a player that's injured there guys can see nicely moved around they must get the ball out to the wingers they've kept possession at the back of this rock right so to lose gas or just running out a little bit see a planned move ben yeah, it should be interesting let's see how the defense coach with it there's a rock being created but my overall overall ben. review for for rugby just 20 after this batch i would say i give it 8 out of oh no let's make it 7 out of 10 seven and a half out of ten because I still feel that I can give it a higher rating um, and I do feel that they will be able to fix that in time um, let's see if I can score a try from a set play Nah, come on. You need to execute your set play so perfectly in order to, to execute it correctly. Um, sometimes it does turn green, but then you haven't executed it perfectly. Um, I mean, you will just know when you've, when you've done it perfectly. The feeling that you get if you do that perfect is amazing. See if they can take the defense by surprise. He's keeping the ball in play. This is going to be a real struggle. As you can see, I can't steal the ball. But it was cracking defense. Um, they're still in with an opportunity to draw this game. But the the attack is so so flat, so predictable. It's just almost impossible for for the AI to score a try. And then. Yeah, okay, they did manage to get that one out. But I've got it uh, plenty of times where where they actually can't even kick the ball out. Well, that's a great the lineouts are very nice. Um, I was just very lucky to, to steal that one. But overall, like I said, this game... Before the patch, you wouldn't be able to do that. There would always be a defender tackling or stopping you from, from doing that inside pass. And I love the fact that you can use your nine to actually... Maybe the game is a bit overpriced. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I would... I don't know exactly the prices over there, but I did hear it was close to, to 40, 40 pounds of 40 UK dollars. 
I'm not sure, you can maybe correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, in South Africa we paid around about 750 Rand for the game. Um, which is what? Um, I live in I don't Italy. Know, it was five dollar nine is nine like nine. fourteen. I live in Italy. It was fifty nine ninety nine. Cheese like that. That is way too expensive. Um, I mean, if I just quickly have to make a calculation, um, I'll just do it here on my calculator quickly. Um, I paid. Yeah, okay, you paid 59.99, I paid around about 53. But I bought it on PlayStation Store. Um, when you're a PS Plus member, you got it for, for less. Right, I'm going to do one more game, guys. Um, then I'm going to be uh, leaving to watch the Jaguares play the Reds in Super Rugby. Yeah. I don't know why you paid 59.99. I think that that basically is the normal price. That's like 900 and something rand in South Africa. Um, we got it for 7.50. Yeah, so you basically, when did you buy it? Um, after the release or before the release? Tonight's match could be a real show. Ben, good evening. Good evening, Nick. It is indeed a match between two good teams and both need points to reach a good position in the table. When the referee blows his whistle... I love playing Clermont. I bought it for five zero pounds. After. Terrible oh dear. Oh, that was a great tackle. Yeah, it's yes, it looks like they aren't quite ready yet. It's roughly it, yeah. Five meters scrum. Yeah, it's if when really you bought it after after the release, um it was the same price as it would be in store. If you buy it in a normal shop. I think that was the special that they had um for it before the release. But yeah, I, to get back to the point for it being maybe a little bit overpriced, um, I would maybe have said um, maybe 40 or 35 pounds would have been a more decent price for it. I mean, you if you take it's in the same price category as FIFA, and I mean FIFA just is just way ahead. The person had upgraded all their players. Thinking <laughs> speed to max was ridiculous. Aha! Uh -huh. Two nine 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 would have been an amazing game. Yeah, I think that could have maybe been the price. I I don't know if it maybe came out with Rugby Challenge Four. Perhaps not, it would have been the same price as Rugby Challenge 4 and probably everybody would have bought Rugby Challenge instead of that. But now again we must remember um, Rugby Challenge and Rugby 20 is basically series uh, games, they more or less the same as the previous ones. And if you take Rugby Challenge concentrates more on the Southern Hemisphere teams as where rugby 20 concentrates more on the northern hemisphere teams um, actually what happened with rugby 20 is they did have the licenses for for South Africa and New Zealand and England and Australia but uh, they lost it uh, during the battle with rugby challenge 4 because one of my South African friends told me the other day that 
on PC when he when he actually modified the game, all the all the files was there. So I don't know at which point they lost the license because. I mean, even World Rugby at the time when the Rugby World Cup was supposed to come out or started, there were rumours that um, it's actually getting promoted by World Rugby as well and then suddenly they just removed all their tweets about it and basically at that time you would have had to be worried. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Just packed Connor Price, who is 92 rated, never heard of them. 92, that's mental. <laughs> Connor Price, um, from which country is he, Scott? Oh dear, what the hell is going on here? And suddenly the AI has got live. I don't know it's whether it's me that's not concentrating or what. Or oh, my player's stamina might be a little bit buggered up. Because I didn't check to see. But I mean if that's going to be the case I'm going to do it more often so that the game can be a little bit more challenging. I wonder if Connor Price is, is one of the unlicensed players in the game or whether he's a licensed player. Yeah, you see he's from New Zealand. Um, uh, which position does he play? So again, um, never thought of that. He is a center. Yeah, he's a center. That's probably Jack Goodhue or uh, Anton Leonard Brown or Sonny Bill Williams that they couldn't get licensed. So it's an unlicensed player that's rated so highly. That's why I try to stay away from from the New Zealand booster pack because you get some really decent rated players but um, in the context of being realistic it's it's not it's a no go so I'm in really big trouble here at the moment um, it's very difficult to defend on your own try line um, if that scrum all decides to snipe now, he would have scored. Because in this game you can hardly tackle. Yeah, it's better to do a 30k pack anyway. Because you get four decent players. Whereas you buy a, a Montpellier or a Saracens a booster pack and you get four 54 uh, rated players which happened to me the other day um, I bought a Montpellier uh, package for 42,400 SP points and I got 454 or 450 rated players and I promised myself never to buy it again Oh dear, oh dear. And I still can't I steal the, the ball. Saracens packed and got it on Jai was quite lucky. We'll yeah, you were very lucky with, with Saracens back uh, to get it, OJ. Um, I'll also probably, if if I find that I can't get Owen Farrell and Maro Itoje, I will also probably have to, to buy the the Saracens booster back just to see if I can't get them because I would really really like them 
because basically I just I still only need uh, Maro Itoje and uh, Owen Farrell and Johnny May to complete a very good England squad. So here's the first line out of the match. Right, so I'm really struggling here at the moment against Clermont. I normally find that Clermont is quite easy to beat, so I don't know for what reason I'm struggling here. I really want Farrell as well as Hart. Oh, and he's gone. Yeah, um, I would also would have liked to have Hawk, but after his two very poor performances in the in the Six Nations, I'm not so sure whether I would like to have him. Right, so we all square here. I survived a huge onslaught from Clermont in the first half. Um, it was quite enjoyable. But now I'm off to the business end. I don't even know if this is maybe a, a final or a semi-final or whether it's just a league game or not. I didn't even check for that. So I can't afford to lose at any stage. I think the best is to yes, that is true. get he did my score replacements a fantastic on. Counter -attacking try for Exeter last night though. <laughs> I did not follow that. I was I was watching the the Super Rugby yesterday for most of the day anyway, and today. Um, geez, like, but my bench looks poor. I'm set up anyway. Just go ahead and see what I can do here. Yeah, um, I think Hog with just bad luck anyway. Um, he's a very good player, he's one of the best in the world at the moment in his position. So for him to, to make all those silly mistakes could really have... Uh, it might just not be easier internationally, who knows. And there I go for a drop goal. So, lots of people have been complaining that they can't do drop goals. Just show you how easy it actually is to do a drop goal in this game. Oh, a few changes on the way. Yeah, it's been so physical. It takes such a toll on the bodies. The ball's taken. There's not a great deal of support there. The tackle made, but the pass to Vaca Tower. I was quite surprised to hear the other night that... Uh, He's got to learn to channel that aggression and energy. Yellow card for Peno. Yes, it was absolutely brutal being a Scotland fan and seeing him do those things very unlike him, however. Para takes the ball. Yeah, he basically cost the Scottish the team uh, the both games there. Cross throws it, taken cleanly. Because I feel had he scored a try against Ireland, um, I think they probably would have beaten England as well the next week. What's going on here? Taken by North. Oh, piles in to get the ball for his team. There are huge opportunities on the wings. Parks with a grubber kick. He can't be caught now. Parks, 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 Parks. That's just the sort of play the supporters love and us as well. Absolutely right. And it was so well done, the defence had no answers for it. Right, so I finally managed to pull away in this game as well. 
check the wind. <laughs> yeah, so I hope for the guys that has been watching this live stream that they can actually see that Rugby 20 has improved quite a bit since since the first betas and the first release of the full game um, a couple of weeks ago this game was really poor in a lot of uh, in a lot of factors in by Para for Clermont Auvergne. This is definitely an area where Clermont Auvergne have been dominant so far. I might actually go ahead and steal this ball. Nah, not gonna happen. Ball comes out for the scrum half. The referee says that's a rock. They're scrapping for the ball, not what they'd have hoped for, Ben. No falling the defense there. There's the tackle. Here's the ruck being created. Is Stellenbosch a nice place in South Passing Africa? Well. Oh, and that's a, Stellenbosch is a lovely place to go to. Um, it's mainly a uh, university uh, town, or s um, mostly um, consists out of people from the universities and in uh, also it's a uh, it's a nice place to go on holiday because it's close to the to the wine farms and all that kind of stuff so it's a very nice place to be um, I've been there a couple of times before and it's really it's a really it's one of South Africa's nicest places but there's so many nice places in South Africa to go um, you can just basically pick anywhere, especially anywhere in the Western Cape is very good to go to. And also in the Mpumalanga uh, province, it's also very, very nice as well. Um, why are you asking Scott? You want to go to, to Stellenbosch at some stage? Oh, he did well to fend off Vunapola. Parks takes it on the outside. Just got his timing totally wrong for that tackle. Excellent defence and they've got the ball back. Para, send it on to Lopez. We're going to see a planned move, Ben. Yeah, it should be interesting. Let's see how the defence copes with it. They're going to work hard for the ball. Oh, that is such a shame. They couldn't quite finish the job. Just needed that little bit of extra polish. To One work. of my friends who plays for Scotland under 2-0-S is there on an exchange for six months to further Good develop passing. his rugby. Uh, I am uh, very jealous. Like yeah, I think that will be a great opportunity for him. Um... Stellenbosch rugby is strong. It's not the strongest in South Africa, but I mean, there's decent coaches there, and uh, I think he can really learn some stuff over there. It's a rock for Clement Auvergne. Terrific tackle. In the arms of Hines. All right, guys. Hines. Unfortunately, this is going to have to bring me into my live stream tonight. Um, like I said, I was I'm going off to watch the the Argentinian side, the Jaguares face Australia's Reds. Um, it's my obligation towards my uh, Super Rugby um, channel that I'm having, so. Until next time guys, thanks for tuning in, have a lovely evening, see you guys tomorrow.